Today we're in my off-grid apartment and I'm going to be going over a problem I have, what the problem is, and how to solve it. And then I'm going to talk about the product that I got to solve it and give you a quick review of that company. So before I begin though, I should tell you that I'm no expert in that in this. In fact, I don't know only enough to get myself into trouble. So, uh, you know, why not make a video of something that I barely understand? Anyway, uh, let's get into this. So the problem is, is I have this setup and it works great for the apartment and it works great for our drip irrigation. But on our lawn, and we don't have a big lawn, I and mean, we have a third of an acre and we have a little teeny bit of lawn, but on the lawn, I have a couple of sprinklers. And when those sprinklers come on, it cycles through too much. So let me explain that. Uh, for those who don't know pumps, and uh, you know, I didn't know any of this stuff, so I'm assuming that somebody else wouldn't know all this either. So how this works is there is a, we have a well, and we have a pump in the well. It's a submersible pump. And we have all these little relays and et cetera. And when the pressure gets to 30 pounds, 30 PSI, the pump comes on. And when it gets to 50 PSI, the pump goes off. And that's all controlled by this relay. And that's all fine and good. But when I use my sprinklers, it cycles back between that 15, 30, 15, 30, too much. And you don't want to do that on the pump. You want the pump to run, turn off, stay off, and then run. So you don't want it to come on for a minute, turn off for a minute, come on for a minute, come on, turn off for a minute. And that's kind of what it was doing. So I thought, well, what do I do about this? You know, again, I don't know anything about wells or pumps or any of this junk. So I did some research and I came across this product and it is a constant pressure pump control valve made by a company called Stop Cycle Stop Valves. And here's the actual unit. And it is just the coolest unit in the history of the universe. First, it's completely mechanical. So there's no electronics to fail. Um, it's got this great, you know, you can hook it up to anything. It's just so cool. It's got threaded inch and a quarter. And then it's got, you know, female threaded inch. So, you know, you can use it on almost any system. And I have an um, inch, so it'll be easy to set up. And if I had an inch and a quarter, it would be easy. You don't have to stop it down or stop it up or whatever you call it. You don't have to do any of that. It's really cool. And it just goes in line. It goes before all this stuff because, of course, if you put it after, it wouldn't do anything. you got to put it before. And what it does is it adds back pressure. So it um, it fakes the system out. So, you know, for example, you know, if, you're, if the pump is going to come on at 30 and then go off at 50 and then cycle back and forth, back and forth, this tricks it to make it Think that it's always at 40 so the pump stays on which is actually what you want on a pump so it's just this cool cool machine it's really easy to install i mean i'm just gonna cut this pipe and actually i'm gonna do redo all of this pipe because this was my first attempt and as you can clearly see it's a sloppy mess so i'm gonna redo all of this and then i'm just gonna add this guy um you know again before all of this uh relay stuff so um this thing kicks butt, the company kicks butt, and I'll tell you why it kicks butt. Because I ordered this thing like 10 minutes ago, it seems like, and the thing was here. I mean, literally, I ordered it like two days ago, and they shipped it that day, um, and it, this thing was here this morning. It just was insane. Their, um, the company is just killer. And their company is called Cycle Stop Valves. Maybe somebody else makes these, I don't know, but I don't know why you would use a different company. This company kicks butt. Uh, great product quickly gets here piece of cake to install the only thing and um, I used to be a web developer so I noticed things like this the only thing is, is their actual website is kind of old and clunky <laughs> and uh, especially for someone like me who doesn't know a lot of this stuff it took a while for me to search through the website to find the information that I needed but the company itself is just incredible and it's going to solve my problem and save me a lot of headache. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to turn this thing off and install this thing. Well, here we are. Everything's installed. It installs very easily. And you can see I cleaned up the pipes a little bit. Again, I'm no plumber, but uh, you know this is as good as I can make it. But this um, this check valve, um, just love it. Very easy to install. Um, there you go. Uh, if you uh, need to do this on your system, I would highly recommend buying one of these guys. Even a 
DIYer guy like myself had no problem installing it and it's working fine. So that's it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.